So now we want to write a function called f equal. It takes the path of two files and we will see if the two files are equal. Alright? So as you can see, this is a basic question, but we're going to solve it. So basically, we want to compare two characters at the same position in each file with each other. So the first character in the first file, we compare it with the first character in the second file, and so on. If the files are equal, all the characters will be equal, and the last character, which is the EOF, will be at the same place. So whenever we read EOF from a file, we should read it also from the other file. So the two characters that we read will be equal. So file star f1, for example, is equal to f open of path1 in read mode. We'll do the same thing with that second file. So f2 and path2. All right. Now, when we finish, we want to close f1 and also we want to close f2. Now over here, let's say while one. So we don't know how many characters, so we will run an infinite loop. If you find a character that is different, we want to close the file and say that the files are not equals. So if f get c of f1 is not equal to f get c of f2, then we want to f close f1 and f close f2 like this, return zero, right? So, because we want to return 0, we have to close the files over here. Because if we return 0, we will not close the files. This will not be executed. Now, what if all the characters are equal? Then, this over here will not be executed, and we will exit the loop. Then over here, we close the files and return 1. Alright? But now, let's have a look. Like this, this loop is an infinite loop. It doesn't exit. So, we need to know whenever we want to exit. Let's have some examples. Let's suppose both the files have this content, so they are equal. We compare this with this, then E with E, and this will continue until the AUF. So the AUF over here is equal to this over here. So whenever we reach the AUF, if the characters are equal, so AUF over here and AUF over here, then the files are equal. So let me do this. Char C is equal to zero, and over here, I will store the character, for example, from the first file, okay? And over here, I will compare this character with the character from the second file. So now we are just doing the same thing that we are doing from a little bit, but I'm storing the value inside a variable, okay? Now over here, I will say, if C is EOF, I want to break. Now let's have a look. Let's redo this example. So first of all, C contains H, so is H different than H? No, it is not. We continue. Is C equal to E of? No. We get the next letter. So we compare E with E. They are equal. And C is not E of. So continue. L and L. L and L. And now O and O. And now have a look. We get the next character, which is E of F, and put it inside C. And we get this character over here, which is also E of F, right here. We compare them. Is E of F different than E of F? No, they are not. And now when we come over here, C is actually UF, so we get out of the loop, and we know that the files are equal, right? So we close them and return that they are equal. Now, suppose that the second file is longer than the first file. So over here, we will get EOF and store it inside C, and over here, we will get O. So EOF is different than O, right? So we will close the file and return that they are not equal. And the same thing will happen if the first file is longer than the second file. So over here we will get O, and over here we will get EOF. So they are different, so close the file, return 0. Okay, so let's try this. In the main function, print F, person D, and let's print F equal, like this, and let's compare data.text with itself. So data.text. So we should see one, they are equal. Let's go make these files. So over here, text file, data.text let's put one to three for example save the file we are comparing it with itself so we should see one they are equal but then run and yes we have one now let's copy this file and now we have data copy all right so we'll compare data.text with data copy.text but then run and yes they are equal now over here let's make a small change save the file but then run they are not equal the second one is longer than this one now, go over here, put 4, 4 for example. Now, the first 4 characters are equal, but the first file is longer than the second file, right? So, build and run, perfect, they are not equal. So, we covered all the cases. This is it, 
I'll see you in the next video.